What's up guys, Alex here, and today we're installing a dishwasher. So this is a Bosch, but whatever brand or model, they're all pretty much the same install. You're gonna get a dishwasher drain hose with your dishwasher, and then you're gonna to have to provide a hot water in hose. So this is a kit you can pick it up from Home Depot or Lowe's. And then some dishwashers come with a power cord. This one did not, so I grabbed this from Home Depot. Just read your manual. It's gonna tell you which cord you need for your dishwasher. So we're gonna make these connections, slide the dishwasher into place, and then secure it to the cabinets with the provided brackets, and we'll be done. So the first thing I did here was drill a couple of two inch holes in the cabinet. The lower one is for the electrical cord and the hot water line, and the upper hole is for the dishwasher drain line. So you wanna get that drain line up off the ground as high as you can. You can do it that way, or you can just hang it from the inside of the cabinet. And the point of it is to prevent backflow coming from the sink or garbage disposal into your dishwasher. If you don't already have a dedicated hot water connection for your dishwasher, you can splice in one of these adapters. This is a Brasscraft valve adapter. It's a 3 8 So we're just gonna stick that right on there. And to do that, we're gonna shut the water off, disconnect the water. We're going to tilt this guy on its back. Make sure we don't hit our cabinet there. Booyah. So if your dishwasher comes with a toe kick installed, you're going to want to take that off and then remove the cover plate from your electrical box. And then here are the fittings that came with the water hose. So this is a six foot braided water line with three eighths connectors. And for this install, we just need this piece right here, this elbow. We're gonna hook that on to the dishwasher there. Don't tighten it up all the way yet. We're gonna make our water connection. Slide that on there. Go ahead and tighten this one down. Now we're going to see which way we want this to go down. So something like that right there. Tighten it as much as you can with your hand. And then cinch it up. So that was about maybe three quarters of a turn past hand tight. Now that's on. Now we're going to hook up our electrical cord. If you have a hard line coming out of your wall, just a, a electrical wire coming out of your wall, you're going to want to shut your power off. You're going to make that electrical connection after you slide in the dishwasher, most likely. Take off this plate right here. You don't have to take it off, but it makes it easier. All right, so we're going to put on one of these strain reliefs, and this just pops in. This is a snap-on. This is a 3 8 so we're going to snap this on. You want to make sure that you're, uh, you're going to be able to get to your screws. So we're going to, and you don't want them facing down because then if you go after you install the dishwasher, you're not going to be able to get to them like that. So you want to kind of position them like that right there. So yeah, take that and snap it in. You got three wires here. You got a green ground, white neutral, and the black is hot on this. Read the manual to make sure you're hooking this up correctly. So black goes to L, there's white in there to the point, All right, slide that in, tighten the white one, let our ground in. All right, so there you go, that's good, I'm going to slide our plate up. this up all right so I'm gonna loosen the legs up a little bit take a hold of my power cord and my water hose mm -hmm. tilt this up 
And then we're going to grab the hoses from the back. Bring this back a little bit. All right, so once you get your wires pulled through, now we're going to hook up the drain hose. So this, the elbow is going to go on this end here. It'll say which end goes to the sink. And then we're going to take our clamp, a spring clamp here. I'm going to set that over the elbow. And then we're going to, you want this, you want to get it on where you want it before you position it the way you want it before you put the clamp on all the way. So that's how we want it. I'm going to bring it up here. There's about two inches of space between the back of the dishwasher and the wall. Now I can clamp this all the way on. Clamp that on there. Make sure you're between the two grooves. So that's good. That's on. All right. Now we're going to measure from the bottom of the countertop to the floor and then raise and pre-level the dishwasher just short of that height so we have room to slide it in. And then we're going to attach our mounting brackets. And here I have 5 8 plywood under my granite. So I'm going to attach the brackets from the top. So I'm going to, you got to figure out which holes you need to use. I need these two middle holes. You just take some measurements. And so I'm going to attach this to the frame of the washer, screw it on, slide in the washer, open the door, and then screw up into the plywood from underneath. And I don't need this extra piece here, so I'm just going to break that off. And if you don't have plywood, you can attach from the side. Same thing, slide it in and then screw into the frame of your cabinet. All right, let's slide this in and we're going to guide the hoses and cables as we go. So once you get it lined up where you want it, now you can attach the screws to the brackets. All right. You have a couple of choices for your dishwasher drain. You can hook it up to the garbage disposal or to your sink drain pipe. Just make sure you're above the P-trap, which traps water to prevent sewer gas getting in your house. So here with the garbage disposal for the inlet, you're either going to have a plug that you can pop out or a cap that you can tap into the disposal. And then you can pull that out through the top uh, before to open it up before you hook up your dishwasher line. So I've already slid on our dishwasher line and tightened it up. Now I'm going to install the water line. Plug that guy in, and now we're going to check for leaks by running a cycle. We're going to run it for a minute, and then see if we can get some water flowing to check for water in leaks. And then uh, if there's no water leaking, we're going to cancel the cycle and let the water drain back out to check the drain for leaks. And you can hear it right there. And I also went ahead and put this cover plate back on the power box. Just one screw right there. And if there's no leaks after all this, we'll put the toe kick back on and we'll be done. All right, so that's good enough. <clears throat> yeah, we got water in there. So now we're gonna cancel the cycle. And that should make the water drain out and we can check the drain. Yeah, there we go. See that? So it looks good, no leaks. We can put the toe kick back on. And uh, there you go guys, that's how you install a dishwasher. So hope this helps you out and I will see you on the next one.